In this video, we will try to solve a problem on how to find the output elasticity of cost uh, from a given perfectly competitive firm's short-run cost function and the price. The question is like this. Assume that a perfectly competitive firm's short-run total cost function is given by C is equal to Q cube minus 10 Q square plus 17 Q plus 66. Determine the output level which maximizes his profit at P is equal to 5. When price is 5, we have to compute the output elasticity of cost at this output. Okay, so let's see how to solve this. So, since we have the perfectly competitive firm, the profit maximization condition will require that marginal cost should be equal to price or price is equal to marginal cost this is the profit maximizing level of profit maximizing condition here okay now what is our total cost function is let me write here total cost is being given as q cube minus 10 q square uh, plus 17 q plus 66 marginal cost is simply the derivative of this total cost marginal cost is derivative of total cost with respect to quantity okay so the derivative of q cube is 3 q square minus derivative of q square is 2 q so 2 into 10 is 20 q plus 17 derivative of q is 1 and derivative of this 66 which is constant is 0 okay so let us equate marginal cost with price and price is also being given as p is equal to 5 okay now p is equal to mc means this implies this is our marginal cost 3 q square minus 20 q plus 17 we equate it with the price price is 5 so we got 3 q square minus 20 q uh, 17 minus 5 this came out to be sadhanic past this is 12 okay so plus 12 if i transpose this here it will become 12 okay now we have a quadratic function and we want to find the value of q okay let's use the quadratic formula here okay for that what we need to do that uh, let us say this the coefficient of a q square is a coefficient of q is 20 sorry coefficient of q is b and this constant term is c using quadratic formula means q will be equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4 a c upon 2 a okay using this very formula so minus b b is minus 20 here okay minus into minus is plus so we have in place of b we have minus 20 so we have minus so let me write it here minus minus 20 uh, plus minus b square means minus 20 square minus 4 a is 3 uh, c is 12 okay dividing it by 2 into a that means 2 into a is 3 okay so minus minus is plus so we got 20 plus minus 20 20 is 400 minus uh, 4 3 are 12 12 12 are Barabara x to chualis go akatu soitoji upon two three are six okay uh, which come which comes out to be twenty plus minus uh tsor nhatamala akat soitoji dahanish tsor to sekis namani tsor to pass so two fifty six upon sekis okay so what is under root of this very thing so if we want to find 256 so we have one ones are one so we are left with one five six will come out one will become double so we have here this becomes two so 26 into six is six six is are 36 is six to the 12 13 14 15 so we got it is 16 under root of 256 is 16 so we have 20 plus minus 16 upon six is which implies q is equal to either 20 plus 16 upon 6 or q is equal to 20 minus 16 upon 6 okay so this implies uh, 20 plus 6 is 36 upon 6 is 6 okay 20 minus 16 comes out to be 4 upon 6 4 upon 6 that is 2 upon 3 so we got the value of q either q 
क्यू इज इक्वल टू सिक्स और क्यू इज इक्वल टू टू अपॉन थ्री ओके सो सिंस वी गॉट द टू वैल्यूज वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द सेकेंड ऑर्डर कंडीशन ऑल्सो ओके ग्राफिकली वट डज दिस स्टप मीन लेट एस सी हियर ग्राफिकली दिस मीन इज वी हैव एम प्राइस इज फाइव ओके सो लेट एस ए पी इज फाइव and this is our marginal cost function so let us say it is like this okay profit maximization condition requires let me write this is our marginal cost to requires that price should be equal to marginal cost we see price is equal to marginal cost at this point when q is equal to 2 upon 3 and price is equal to marginal cost when q came out to be 6 okay now we need to find out which of these output levels maximizes our profit okay for that we need to check out second order condition what is second order condition second order condition tells us that marginal cost should be increasing at the intersection of price and marginal cost function okay so <clears throat> let me uh, write it here second order condition will require us that the derivative of cost function that means the derivative of marginal cost function with respect to output that means the second derivative of cost function which means the derivative of the marginal cost function with respect to quantity let us say uh, what is the value of this so this is our first order derivative taking derivative of this uh, equation again will give us the second order derivative so 3 to the 6 q minus 20 okay so don't get confused we got the profit maximizing condition is price should be equal to marginal cost that was first pro profit maximizing condition second um, uh, order condition requires that at the intersection of price and marginal cost this marginal cost should be increasing and this second order condition can be checked by if we take the slope of this marginal cost function what is our marginal cost function this very thing is marginal cost function now slope of marginal cost function means taking second derivative of total cost function and evaluating it at uh, let us say at first we evaluate it at 6 okay so if we evaluate q is equal to 6 so this becomes 6 into 6 minus 20 goes shaitra 36 minus 20 which comes out to be 16 we say that slope is increasing okay let us check at this point okay so d square c upon d q square when q is equal to 2 upon 3 is equal to 6 q minus 20 just plug the value of this q so we have 6 into 2 upon 3 minus 20 so 2 1 are 2 3 not 3 one are 3 2 are 6 so go 4 minus 20 which comes out to be minus 16 okay which is less than 0 okay at q is equal to 2 upon 3 the slope of marginal cost is decreasing at q is equal to 6 slope of marginal cost is increasing simple thing is we have two or uh, two output levels now when price is equal to marginal cost and marginal cost is increasing at this point we say profit is maximized okay so profit maximization will occur at this point when q is equal to 6 because at this point both conditions are satisfied that is price is equal to marginal cost and marginal cost is increasing at this point okay but here only one condition is being uh, satisfied that is price is equal to obviously marginal cost but marginal cost you can see marginal cost is decreasing okay how do i got this marginal cost decreasing when i checked the second order condition okay here you can see marginal cost is increasing slope of this marginal cost is increasing that means this point will be our profit maximizing point okay and this point cannot be profit maximizing point only one condition is being 
satisfied that is price is called marginal cost but second condition is not being satisfied this time okay i hope i make myself clear so now we need to find out so getting confused at times now we need to find out the so we see that output is max maxima sorry uh, profit is maximized when q is equal to six now we want to find out the output elasticity of cost okay output elasticity of cost means output elasticity of cost let us denote it by ec means simply as we calculated the price elasticity of demand here we need to find out the output elasticity of cost that means dq upon dc okay into c upon q simply change in output with respect to change in cost into c into q will give us the output elasticity of cost what is our dq upon dc upon dq we got here okay so here it was uh, 3q square minus 20q plus 17 okay this is our dq upon dc which we calculated now reciprocal of this will be so let me write it here let us write it like this here we have dc upon dq is equal to this very thing if i reciprocate this that means dq upon dc if i reciprocate this i have to reciprocate the rhs also this will become 1 upon 3q square minus 20q plus 17 okay so in place of this dq upon dc i can write this very thing 1 upon 3q square minus 2q 20q plus 17 okay what is our c cost function is being given us uh, this very thing that is q q calculated minus 10 q square plus 17 q plus 66 okay upon q now if we solve this very thing at q is equal to at q is equal to we got the value of q is equal to 6 okay we will get the output elasticity of demand that means we need to calculate the output elasticity of demand when q is equal to 6 okay just plug the value of q here you will get the stuff here so this is 1 upon 3 into 6 square minus 20 into 6 uh, plus 17 into 6 cube minus 10 into 6 square uh, plus 17 into 6 plus 66 upon this q is 6 i don't have so much energy to get this very stuff here so i have calculated it it came out to be minus 24 upon 30 which came out to be 0 0.8 okay so if we want to take the absolute value we will get 0 0.8 it simply means if cost increases by one percent okay no i'm not getting it correct if quantity if q that means if output is increased by one percent cost will also increase by 0 0.8 percent okay i hope this is the meaning of this output elasticity of cost that means if cost if output increases by one unit cost will increase by 0 0.8 unit okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you